Hey lovelies! Welcome to the fourth video in my Queen of Decals acrylic design series. This video I'm going to show you how I created that little bluebird nail right there. So getting straight into the design, I'm using Velvet Jasmine from Where Else but Teen Gorgeous of course. Uh, and this is going to be the bottom colour to my ombre. So I'm placing the bead just below sort of the centre line of the nail. I'm going to blend it down and then I'm just going to blend it up um, so that the colour is nicely faded out. I'm working nice and thin because this is going to be capped at the end and you don't want lots of bulk. Adding a little bit more colour so you really get the true depth of this and it is a really beautiful blue. I um, can't believe I've not really used it before. And then for the second colour in my ombre, I'm using Ice Lolly, and it's actually Lisa Graves I have to thank for this combination because she shared a picture in the Team Gorgeous group and I just loved it. So placing my bead just above where that line blended out and I'm just going to pull and blend it down. Now that bead was really way too big, as you can see the line has come blended down far too far. Um, so this is going to take a little bit of fixing. So for that, back into Velvet Jasmine, applying that near to where I want my blend to be, bringing the acrylic down and then just very little feathery strokes blending it up and we can start to get that blend back. Back into Ice Lolly so that I can finish off um, covering the nail <laughs> really. I'm going to blend that down trying to keep that blend as much of where I want it as possible. Now with um, ombres you know, don't be afraid to add a little more of each colour if you need to. Just make sure you're working nice and thin so you're not adding bulk because you will want to cap your ombres whatever you're doing with them so you don't ruin that blend. So I'm just going to continue to work this until I'm happy with that blend. Um, it's looking a lot better than it did a little while ago. <laughs> um, just fading up, pulling the product down and making sure I've got true depth of colour. But these Teen Gorgeous acrylics are so pigmented, they really are beautiful. So that is looking much better now. And I'm gonna be using the two little blue birds on this decal sheet. So just using my stalk scissors, cutting out, trying to make sure I've not got too much excess around them. So cutting as near to them as possible. And the second one. And then with my tweezers, I'm just going to um, hold them in the water for around about 30 seconds or so. Um, sometimes it comes away quicker, sometimes it takes a little bit longer. Um, now this happens to be in real time, so this is going to seem like hours, um, but trust me, it's not. It's just seconds of me holding it in the water. Um, so I'm just going to do this and um, it is a bit of a guessing game but 30 seconds is a good rough guide. Take it out, drain off the e excess liquid and then just gently see if the image pulls away from that backing paper. If it doesn't, pop it back in the water. Don't force it. Holding it with my tweezers, placing it where I want it and gently patting it down. And do you know what we're going to do now? <laughs> we're going to do the same again with the other little birdie. So into the liquid, into the liquid. <laughs> I recommend using water and not anything else for this. Um, so back into the water and we're going to hold that in for around about 30 seconds again. <laughs> um, for anyone wondering, at the start of the video, I was using my CJP Liz Guild brush to fill a bit of time there. Out it comes, drain off the excess and then gently pull it away. That one offered a bit of resistance but I could tell it was going to come. Just don't force it. Placing that one on and patting that down and there are our two little birdies. Now that could have been um, finished but this is me and I felt I needed to add a little bit more. So I've got my clear acrylic from Team Gorgeous, um, 
which is called Clear Candy. And this glitter is Raven Claw from Smiley's, it's part of the Harry Potter collection. Um, and if you would like to see all the others in that collection, I did swatch them on my channel several weeks ago. Uh, so I'll pop a link to that video in the description box for you. I'm just placing some wet acrylic. Um, now I say wet, <laughs> wetter than you would usually use, onto the nail and then I'm just using my wet brush to pick up a small amount of the glitter and pop in it on that acrylic. Um, I don't want loads, I just want a little bit of a line sort of swooping around the birds. <laughs> I felt that was the right word to use in this. Um, so just using the tip of my brush to move the um, glitter around. Now this one was perfect to go with the bluebirds because it's sort of a mixture of blue and there's some white in there. So it just was a really nice, um, really nice combination. And then I'm just bringing some acrylic under the second bird so that I can do the same thing and just add some of that glitter in there. I don't want a really thick line, I sort of want sort of a single glitter line. Think single file, single glitter, it's a thing. <laughs> um, so just moving it around. Uh, and I am a real perfectionist when it comes to these things. So if something is slightly out of place, it will niggle me and I have to get it right. But there we go, I was happy with that. So just going to let that glitter set into place uh, whilst I tidy away and now I'm going to cap in clear. Um, my beads are not super wet, these are relatively dry beads because I didn't want to smudge the um, decals or you know ruin the colours of them. So I'm just going to cap this whole nail um, and then I filed off camera. So I'm not worrying about structure here, I never do when I'm working on display tips. I just want them to look as neat and professionally finished as possible. So making sure that acrylic is sort of nice and smooth and even down the nail. Um, and so that when I come to file, I don't file into the glitter or the little birdies. <laughs> Peter and Paul, I'm going to call them. <laughs> so just finishing off that last bead, blending it up. Bringing some of that acrylic down and um, yeah. <laughs> so I'm going to finish this now and then I will uh, file and then we shall be back. Okay, my favourite part now, it's top coat time! I love top coating because it just brings the whole design to life and I love this top coat. It is my Teen Gorgeous Top Gloss. It is the one I use 99% of the time. I just love it. So I'm applying a nice thin coat of this across the entire nail and then I'll pop it in my LED lamp for a 60 second cure then the design is finished. So thank you so much for watching this video part four. Don't forget to check out part five and all the others. I will leave links in the description box for all the products I have used. Please give this video a thumbs up and click that subscribe button and I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye for now. Mwah.